in today's video i'm going to show you guys you guys have been asking for a very long time how to get your apex legend settings into aim labs and this is for my controller users that want to use the controller into aim labs to get better at aiming or just to fine tune your aiming into apex so that's what we're going to do today i'm going to show you uh step by step how to go about it and how to do it so first things first you guys want to load up into apex just to take a look at your settings go over to controller and if you have advanced settings on you can take a look at that or if you just have default settings you want to look at um, basically your sensitivity your ads speed and your response curve your dead zone and if you're used to your controller or if you're used to these settings and you know how it's supposed to be um in the game then that's a that's a good head start but if you guys have the advanced settings basically it's just like defaulted but you're you're going to tweak it a little bit more so you want to take a look at all this first check out your dead zone this is mine uh, i tweak it here and there every once in a while so i don't know if that's going to stay but after you get an idea of what your settings is then i want you guys to go ahead and close out apex and open up aim labs okay so once you get into aim labs what you want to do first grab your mouse you're going to be controlling this with your mouse until you get into the actual training session you want to go into the training up top click it go down to settings and here is where you can try to configure your settings like how you like it inside of apex for your controllers right so you go down to controls here on the side choose your game profile i play apex legends so i have apex legends but if you click this column down here on the right you get to choose a bunch of different games that your settings can adapt to so you pick the game that you like to choose confirm it um in game actual fov i have it at actual fov and then your hip firing settings this is basically what you just have to choose right here it's your sensitivity because once you start moving your sensitivity everything else starts to change your 360 distance starts to change um for your aim down sight and your hip firing so you just want to tweak this uh until you find com you find yourself comfortable enough to use your controller uh inside the training so i'm just gonna set it at like what let's set it at like three right because aim labs is not going to be apex legend but what aim labs does is just gives you the settings that feels comfortable to you to pass their test right in aim labs you're not going to get that exact same feeling or sensitivity and like you have an apex and aim labs because it's a different it's a different game right it's practice it's training you're not actually running around fighting people you're actually just trying to get your aim a little better you're hitting orbs so sensitivity i put it at four for right now now here at aim down sight settings i have my ads profile now i chose the pistol smg and sg just because i feel like that that's what i use in apex um but you can choose optics uh, i don't know why they even have that or look re45 that sounds familiar now i'm just going to change that to re45 aim down sight profile um let's see here your field of view i don't think that changes there um uh, let's see here also go down to input settings now controller dead zone this is where you can set your dead zone for your controller you click down here they have a playstation at 12 percent or uh, xbox at 20 percent i have it custom because i have a custom dead zone in my um alc settings and i have my dead zone set at nine my controller curve i put it at standard you can't really change the 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 percentage of your of your uh controller curve so i kept it at standard input source i got it at raw input now you can change it to windows i don't prefer you to do windows i prefer you to do raw input and everything else down below just keep it the same i don't think that even it even matters to your uh, controller but if it does i might be wrong let me know in the comment box down below but after you set it set your settings you might not still know until you get into the training so 
first thing first save go back to the training column and just pick a training we're going to do spider shot play task click here to continue and now you grab your controller before you even begin training you want to just make sure that this sensitivity is okay with you and you might not still know until you start beginning your training so here i am beginning my training And I do a lot of hit firing. Now in this, if you feel like that, this is too fast for you. Oh, that was weird. If you feel like this is too fast for you, go ahead and press start on your controller. Go back to options with your mouse. Go back to controls in the settings and just change the sensitivity. You want it a little higher. Let's change it a little higher. We got it at six. Um, if you feel like your dead zone is a little too sensitive, go down to your dead zone. Go change it up. I'll put it at 13. Save changes. Okay. Go back. Resume. Pick up controller. And start, start practicing. And this is basically, you just want to find your comfortability that works for you and your thumb. Oh my God. Make sure you hit the orb too. Yeah. See, I feel like this may be a little too sensitive because I'm used to just using all my force in my thumbs to go. Felt like that was a little too sensitive so if you feel like that was a little too sensitive go ahead and uh play again before you begin hit start go to options controls and just change the sensitivity man that's it and it gives you what it says on the right hand side the sensitivity determines how many degrees the camera turns when the input device has moved All right, so I think I, we're gonna lower it. Like sensitivity is a little too high. I put it at three here. Um, let's go down to my dead zone. I think my dead zone is, oh, is okay. I don't think it's my dead zone, but this is what you do here. You just want to find out what works best for you. Save changes, go back. Resume. All right, click to begin. And this is using your thumb. So it's gonna be a little tougher to use your thumb. Whoa, that's fat. Whoa, buddy. Uh, oh, okay, they playing with me. Why is this going so fast? What the? Oh, this is a different different settings training and of course if you pick up your mouse it's easier to use your wrist than the actual your thumbs right so I mean you can use your controllers. You can use your thumb to play aim labs. You just have to find that sweet spot for you and your thumb in order to complete the task, right? Let's go, let's go to four, 4.4 4 for me. Save changes, go back, resume. Jeez, I suck. Don't be like me, be better. So it's possible, it is possible to use your controller into aim labs, but it's just gonna be a little difficult because you're not used to aim lab settings just yet. Aim labs tend to be more for the mouse and keyboard users than controller, but we found a way that we can still use our controllers, but we just have to take those extra steps and to find that fine tuning that you need 
in order to complete the task in aim labs into the settings don't get discouraged man just keep trying at it bro do not get discouraged you're gonna be like oh forget this i'm just gonna play and practice nah man this is where you get your practice before you get in an apex or whatever game you play and get you know what i mean lose this this is when you people people on apex be strafing gotta try to follow them like come here Boom, bada, bam. Simple as that. That's how you do it, you guys. That's how you use your controller. That's how you fix your settings. You want to make sure you tweak it. Don't get discouraged. Try in, in order that, that that feels good for you and your thumbs. Yes, if you want to practice with mouse and keyboard, those shall, shall be it. Use your mouse and keyboard. But for me, I've been playing controller for a very long time that I feel like that I cannot play a competitive game and use my fingers to move around. I need a joint stick and that's what I'm comfortable with. I'm, I'm comfortable with a joint stick. So that's just my opinion, my personal opinion. You got yours. Um, if you guys find this video helpful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions, please comment down below in the comment box. Let me know any of your questions or concern. If you still need help with something, I'll, I'll make another video for you guys. Um, subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video you guys go out there kill some stuff and have fun enjoy your day peace